That's funny because they, they, they. This is a Monticello. So that does that mean that? Uh, okay. Does that mean that you you would have you like? Okay, so we're walking here on the way to. It's quite a interesting hike here. It sure is. This is the view here. Thomas Jefferson's home, and it looks like there's growing uh, some vegetables on the prop on the state. You really have to see it too. You can see on and on into infinity from here. It's absolute amazing location. Looks like the remains of a property that was there, but we'll probably find out more about that during our tour. Them on their trip, his name is Seaman. He helped scare away the bears. <laughs> kind of kid. Every day, Thomas Jefferson would ride on his horse. We'll talk about that as we go. <laughs> on his plantation, he had cows, and those were important too, and we'll talk about why. Now, I don't know, you've got your hands full. I don't think you need to hold any other stuff. Do you, you got an extra hand? Well, gosh, I guess... Anything particular you want me to talk about today? <laughs> Thomas Jefferson, well, we're going to cover that. <laughs> um, and where are you from? I'm from here. From here. Okay, Charlottesville? Yeah. Okay. And how about you? Winchester. Oh, Virginia so far. Chicago? What? Chicago, okay. I'm North from Wichita, Kansas. Okay. Kansas. Winchester. Winchester. Jersey? Los Angeles. Los Angeles, okay. Toronto. Toronto, okay. <laughs> There's uh, keep three things in mind: space, time, and technology, because those are three areas that Jefferson's interested in. And uh, I'm not going to touch on them specifically in every room, but I think you're going to see it as we go through. Uh, he inherits the property from his father, Peter Jefferson. Uh, Peter Jefferson is a surveyor. He gets his lands for land grants from the king. And eventually, he's going to um, start, Jefferson's going to start to build here. He uh, build, starts building when he's 26. It takes him 40 years to finish building his house. He's constantly changing things. He said, putting up and pulling down is one of my favorite amusements. Now, uh, the house that he starts out with is only two stories and eight rooms. Uh, and what he ends up with 40 years later is what you're looking at today. It's a neoclassical design. And uh, it really is not small. It's three stories, 21 rooms, quite a bit different than the original one. And visitors have a hard time picking out the various uh, floors. The long windows are the first floor. The square windows are the second floor. And those are at the bottom of the second floor room. And the third floor is hidden up behind the balustrade. And those rooms have skylights with windows. Uh, Jefferson's interested in weather. I guess you could call him a meteorologist of sorts. Um, he records weather twice a day for over 50 years, and one of the instruments that he uses is right up here on the ceiling of the portico. This is a wind plate that he connects to a weather vane, and uh, by doing it this way, he can see what the wind is doing without going out of the house to check the weather vane. Uh, before we go in, a couple of things I'd like to go over. Uh, we ask if... Oh, that'll follow. I couldn't get in there. That it was an industrial street. <laughs> it just it looked doesn't it look like just a nice place maybe later tonight to stroll with a glass of wine or something. But his insurance document of the late 1790s shows 17 structures along here. A saw pit, a carpenter shop, a joinery, a blacksmith shop, a nail factory. A smokehouse, storerooms, latrines, um, a dairy, five cabins were along here. Architects, <laughs> in addition to probably being its first classical architect. We're on Little Mountain, Monticello, 
<clears throat> there's Paul Mountain, Mont Alto. And Jefferson owned this side of Mont Alto and 483 acres and 100 yards beyond which you could see. That's how the deed was written. He had ideas for English riding parks up there. Probably what he saw when he was in Paris and went to England and with John Adams they toured English gardens. He had a couple of ideas for building uh, observation towers on the top. One tower with about 100 feet in height, divided into the five equal sections of the various orders of classical architecture. Tuscan, Doric, Ionic, Corinthian, Composite. Jefferson was in the habit of hiring a skilled craftsman, bringing them to Monticello, apprenticing a talented slave to them, they would learn that skill or craft and then he would have that skill among the people who lived here. And John was apprenticed to James Dinsmore, an Irish joiner from Philadelphia. Celosia cristata, this is your true species of coxcomb. Uh, oft times this is called green flower. <laughs> Again, like your globe amaranth, this uh, celosia is a good one. You, you can cut it, you hang it, and dry it. It's Monticello is Thomas, Thomas Jefferson's home. He spent 40 years creating it. He went on the inside. And it receives about 500,000 uh, visitors a year. Uh, more people visit Elvis than this than Thomas uh, Jefferson. Oh uh, well. But it's also very, a lot more difficult probably to get here. Into a guide. Oh no. Yeah, it is. It is. Thomas Jefferson's flowers is the type of flowers he, he uh, planted here. A tree that was once here. I have no long idea when that was there. What time is oh, it? 6 or 6. Oh, what time did it close? 7. Oh, so we get to have to see the other stuff. Oh, it was an exciting day here in Monticello to see all the sights. Why? To see the house. Excited. Huh? Okay, you want one in front? Yeah, that's sad that uh, we didn't get the signature tour. But it was amazing inside. They have stuff you've never seen anywhere else. It's amazing. I like the sound of this stuff now. I think it's kind of an interesting sound. There's the deer looking right at me. Huh? You can see why it's so easy to kill them. Yeah, you just stand still right, right there. Meow! Meow! Does it do it? I think this is tobacco leaf.
And here is a nice growing tr tomato. From Monticello. Right here in the heart of Monticello. Okay. I think he envisioned one day there'll be some great condos in the distance. No, I don't think he, he didn't like cities actually. They actually, they actually uh, saved the development over there. They were going to have uh, 15 million dollar condos. It's about over there in the distance. You can't really see it. Right around right there. Well, it's pretty, it's pretty big dip there. It's like, it's like a big canyon. Not like the Grand Canyon, but a big canyon with trees growing out of it. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in the background. Uh, Thomas Jefferson was very bourgeois. Huh? Okay, that's Thomas Jefferson on the nickel. Apparently a lot of people, what they do around here is they throw the nickel with Thomas Jefferson onto the, onto the burial ground. So let's watch, 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 let's watch Danny. Okay, got a nickel, Thomas Jefferson. Okay. We don't throw $20 bills here, we throw nickels. Okay, I hear it's really, really good luck if you make it so that it hits the first step and you read it that? comes off. Mm-hmm. You did? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, okay we're going to go. Oh, this is the first step. Okay. What is that, a mockingbird in the background? Okay, we're in front of the Thomas Jefferson burial grounds. And uh, we're all alone. We're the only people with Thomas Jefferson right now at this moment in time. Uh, let's face it towards this way. Okay. That's so quite remarkable. Actually, in reality, uh, during the day, it's you would never get a shot alone. Oh, yeah. Uh, because there's like probably hundreds of people that go through here through, during the day. So uh, this is at closing time. Yep, when it's closing time, there's not a lot of people apparently. Is that a, wait? I think I heard a mockingbird. I know it does sound like it.
Well, well let me here see. we are at the gate, right? Yep. And uh, we're trying to figure out how to get back. It's like eight miles. Eight? Is it eight? Well, to the Amtrak, it's five, so it must be a little bit more. Wow. Okay, that's probably good. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see. Oh. 